Welcome to Trading Nation. I'm Michelle Caruso Cabrera, and stocks are kicking off the week in rally mode. Joining us with his bull case for stocks is John Stolfis. He's chief investment strategist at Oppenheimer Asset Management. Hi, John. Welcome. Tell us, why are you bullish on stocks here? Hi, Michelle. Uh, well, uh, the reason why I'm bullish is we have, uh, we've just completed a great earnings season where we saw earnings rise significantly, uh, up around 23% for the S&P 500. Uh, the mid caps, uh, similarly around 23%. And the Russell 2000, the last I looked, were cranking much higher than that, uh, around 40%. Uh, with these results uh, coming along, and, and as well as the performance of small and mid-cap stocks that genuinely, we believe, reflect the strength of the U.S. economy, the domestic economy, we think investors still have good reason to be positive on equities. You, you mentioned in your most recent note, too many investors see the NASDAQ and small caps as a Vegas lounge act off on the side. What do you mean by that? Well, it, 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 there's, there's such focus on large cap S&P 500 and Dow 30 stocks that oftentimes investors forget about the, the, the historical outperformance that can be provided from owning mid cap and small cap stocks. And the NASDAQ, particularly at, at, as it's, it's, it's heavily weighted in technology stocks as well as technology related sectors, uh, it, it, it's, uh, it, it, it's right in the trend of, of, of where we are experiencing growth, uh, not only in the U.S., but around the world. So domestic growth from the, uh, the uh, S&P 600 uh, quality small caps, as well as the Russell 2000, from the S&P 400, the mid caps, and then on a broader basis, technological large cap from the NASDAQ. You know, a lot of people all day long around us, oh, what if trade goes badly? That's so bad for stocks. Um, we don't have, often ask, well, what if it goes well? That would be really good, right? Is that priced into the market, the possibility that trade works out in a positive way? You know, I don't think it is. And if anything, we, we would expect that if, if, if we get a positive resolution to these trade negotiations, even if it's just progress, not perfection, we think the markets could rally much higher than where they have rallied to so far. I'm not projecting that we'll do those four weeks that we did at the beginning of this year again, that absolute madness of every day's a celebration. But we would have to think that we'd see these markets move considerably higher from where they are now. You want to guess? 5%, 10%? What are you thinking? Well, with the S&P 500, we, 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 had, we put in our, S, uh, our target for the S&P 500 at 3,000 mm. uh, uh, last December. At that time, there, there were only two of us on the street who had it. Now you've got more strategists with a 3,000 target than there are ants at a summer picnic, you know. Uh, but uh, we think it, it's the mids and the smalls is where you'll see the action in particular, but with a good chance that the 3,000 target could be recognized by the S&P 500 particularly if we get a global trade deal, if we get something good with okay. NAFTA, something with China, be a lot of uh, good things that could be uh, uh, projected into that. Terrific, John. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Thanks so much for joining us, and thank you for watching Trading Nation. I'm Michelle Caruso Cabrera. We'll see you next time. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.